Welcome back to Money Shree Cap. Today I will show you a horror thriller film from 2020 titled Breeder Spoilers Ahead. Watch out and take care. As the film begins we are shown a couple. The girl's name was Mia and she was one of them. Her hubby was sound asleep on his PC. He got an email. Mia receives a message from the doctor when she opens this email. There was a picture in it in that instant. 14k was written on someone's flesh. That doctor has sends it to me as husband because he works under her. After it, when Mia's husband wakes up, he starts talking to the doctor. He was asking him about a factory. The doctor says him not to talk about that factory now. Close it here. Mia's husband asks her to come to his home. We will talk while sitting together. Meanwhile, Mia was also returning from jogging. She sees a lady on her way. She was a Russian lady, and she also had a baby in her lap. Mia starts talking to that girl. The doctor also arrives there who is called by Mia's husband. She admires that Russian girl while saying that she has beautiful hair. She touches her head to, plucks her hair and keeps it in her pocket. This was awkward behavior of her. The doctor starts talking to me as husband after coming inside their house. She says that I have made a new cure, that I can turn old people into young. She shows him some of the pictures and asks him that. Art, do you think that they're looking young man their age? Do you also want to go through this experiment? Mia's husband replies anything inaccurate could happen at night. We see Mia. She had done her gorgeous makeover. She starts talking to her husband, but her husband wasn't listening to her properly. He has no attraction towards Mia. Mia gets worried after seeing it. Now the scene changes. We see the neighbor of Mia means that Russian lady someone hits her and goes from there and she gets faint there. When she comes to her senses, she sees two men around her. They have kidnapped her, and then they torture her body with the heated iron they made a mark with the iron on her body. But that Russian girl somehow escapes from that van and comes out from there. You were thinking that who had kidnapped this innocent Russian girl? Like I told you that the doctor wants to do some experiments. The thing that she made means she can change old into young. So she wanted to do this experiment on this Russian girl. Now we know that way she has taken her hair so that she can do some tests of it. But her plan fails here when that Russian girl escapes from there. She comes to Mia's house while escaping from there and knocks at the door. Mia immediately comes outside and asks her what happened to her. Why are you panicked? Come with me immediately. Let me take you to the hospital. Then Mia's husband arrives there, and he says that let me take her to the hospital. After saying this, Mia's husband takes that Russian girl with him. He says that I am taking her to the hospital. Mia trusts them, so she lets them go. But she doesn't know that her husband is also supporting that doctor. And with those kidnappers, also Mia's husband makes that Russian girl sits in his car and starts driving. Much time passed, but there was no hospital arriving. Then suddenly that factory arrives. The factory that Mia's husband was talking about, he stops his car outside the factory. Meanwhile, those kidnappers also arrived there. They were kidnapping that Russian girl. Another side, Mia's husband meets that doctor and he says to her, till when you will kidnap girls just for the sake of your experiments and you are not even investing money in it because Mia's husband pays all expenses of the experiments. Maybe that doctor has included him in this mission for this purpose. She says that. What's your problem? If I do experiment on anyone, why are you feeling pain for that Russian girl? Another side. Mia was suspecting that it is too late. They haven't come back or didn't inform me. She goes to her husband's computer room. She traces his location, she traced his location, but there wasn't any hospital around that location. Her husband sends her a fake message that I have left our neighbor to the hospital and I have move ahead. But Mia doesn't believe him. And she thinks to trace his location, I will follow him. Finally, while tracing the location, Mia also arrives at that factory. The doctor was seeing everything through CCTV footage that Mia comes to her factory, but she doesn't show that she knew. Mia comes inside. The doctor was waiting for this. She calls her two companions. She orders them to lock Mia in a room. The awkward thing about this factory was if someone is locked in a room, then can't go outside with his or her will. One of the men starts torturing her. He asks her to remove the clothes, and after it, he also takes blood from her body. They have done the same with her as they did with that Russian girl. It means her body was also tortured with the heated iron and a stamp-like mark was made on her body. She starts yelling. The man with the glasses says that are you feeling pain? He does urine on her wound and then leaves from there. Mia was shrieking, and when Mia's husband comes to know that his wife is here, he searches for her in the whole factory. While searching for her, he reaches a room there. He meets with the man with glasses. He says to him that I want to meet my wife. Where is she? Then that man calls the doctor. The doctor says that, okay, let him meet her. Now he goes to his wife, Mia, and starts talking to her Mia says that why you didn't tell me about this before. 
Why are you working with this evil doctor? Her husband says that I can understand that it is not good work, but I am not supporting her with heart. She forced me to do this. I am just blackmailed. In fact, a few times before she makes me meet with a girl. We become friends. But then one day she died. Her dead body was with me, and everyone would suspect me. But this doctor saved me and closed this murder case forever. Otherwise, people would think that I am a criminal. That's why she keeps saying that. You should be thankful to me. She blackmailed me. That you have to work for me. That's why I become her partner. Mia starts weeping that. How will I go out from here? He hugs Mia and says that don't get worried. You are my wife and I love you so much. One day I will take you out of this room. Just give me some time. But you don't try to go out from here yourself. Otherwise, the men here will kill you. Just trust me now. Mia becomes sad, then late at night. Mia has the impression that someone is standing outside her room. Mia also charges a fee at night. She hears sounds outside her room, and as she comes, she sees the Russian girl who has come to meet Mia someone is outside her room. She thinks she requested Mia for support, but Mia was unwilling to help. That's why she was looking at her with her wet, teary eyes. She becomes emotional, and those men in front of her eyes killed that Russian girl. We see Mia's husband who goes to the doctor. He asks her about the experiment. Then the doctor says that soon it will be completed. After that experiment, we can turn the old people into young. It means we will bring age many years back. Now, Mia's husband asks the doctor that if you have done many experiments and have made others young, then why you are not young yet? Because you are also aged. The doctor doesn't like this. And she says that, yes, I also want to become young. But still, I didn't get DNA that will match my DNA. Those people whose DNA is are matched. I made them young. That's the reason why the doctor had taken the Russian girl's hair to check whether her DNA is matched with her or not. Mia's husband asks her that if DNA will never match, then what will she do? The doctor easily says that. Then I will keep on kidnapping and killing more girls here. Mia's husband doesn't like this. Well, because he wants to save his wife. So he was entangling the doctor. He was telling her that my wife is too bad. She always irritates me that. Where is your factory? So why don't we kill her? I am also annoyed with her. The doctor thinks that Mia's husband is sincere with her towards his work, so she trusts him. She says to him that, okay, you can kill Mia. Mia's husband goes to his wife and releases her. They run from the lab Mia's husband now also realized that the doctor is doing disgraceful works. But as they were leaving the lab, the companions of the doctor see them. Mia runs from there and sits in a car, but they cut Mia's husband. Meanwhile, we see that the doctor comes to know an astonishing reality the blood sample of Mia that her companion had taken matched her DNA. She orders everyone to bring Mia back, but she comes to know Mia has escaped. She says that I want Mia at any cost. Otherwise, I will kill you all. Then they all start searching for Mia. But she was hidden, and she was planning to go out from here. Then we see that they searched Mia. The doctor treats her badly and tortures her. She injects something into her body. And then she was taken to the basement. There were many girls. The condition of all girls was worst. Now the doctor takes some new cells from her bodies, which she wants to inject into old people's bodies to make them young. Mia sees a cabin there. There was a girl locked in. Her jail number was 14k. That was the girl about whom Mia's husband told her that when she died, the doctor said that she will close the case, that you didn't kill this girl. But in return, you have to work with me. This girl was alive in reality. She tells me that the doctor had given a lot of money to her for this task, to act as I am dead. But I don't know her hidden purpose. And later, she also imprisoned me. There was one more girl whose tooth was aching, and she was screaming with pain. Then the doctor's companion comes there and he takes out her tooth badly. But when she yells loudly because she was feeling pain in her mouth was also bleeding. Then that bad man staples her lips with a stapler. This scene is very painful seeing it. The girl whom the doctor declared dead also starts screaming. She was black. Merely Mia's husband. On this basis, the companion of the doctor goes in beating her, but she yells more loudly, and the doctor arrives there. Here we see that she delivers a baby and the doctor takes that baby and leaves from there at night. We see that the companion of the doctor comes to the jail to deliver the food. Then Mia wisely does a task she irritates that man, and she makes the floor of the jail dirty due to that man comes in anger. So he comes inside the jail to hits her. Then Mia snatches the keys from him and throws them towards the other girls. Gradually, all girls come outside of their locker rooms. They start beating that man. The girl who delivered the baby she goes to search for her baby, and the other girls were also with her. Meanwhile, they see a drum-like container in front. It was smelly, but when they opened it, there were dead bodies of small newborn babies. 
seeing it, they all become afraid. And that girl also becomes scared. But this will also about to happen with her baby. The companion of the doctor was also behind them, but he meets me as husband in the way they fight a lot. And the companion of the doctor was about to kill me as husband. But Mia comes there and defends her husband. Another side we see that now that doctor will also get a lesson because those girls were free and they surround the doctor. They hold her and try to kill her. The doctor gets nervous. Some of the girls go to the man of the doctor who tortured them. They beat him with the iron rod until he dies. Now, it was the doctor's turn. Those all girls were moving ahead to the doctor. But that doctor was egoist. She couldn't bear at all that someone could beat her. She starts scaring everyone with the knife, but in the end, she stabs herself with the knife and dies. What she got in the end, after torturing people, giving pain to them and after hurting them, she also dies in a painful way. Finally, we watch that an ambulance arrives. Mia and her husband are rescued from there. Obviously, the other girls go as well. And Mia and her husband live happily ever after. With this scene, the movie ends. Thank you for watching.